A quick video with some notes about the package, the Sysmon package. In the video description of all the Sysmon uh, videos, there is a link that takes you to this uh, public folder. And when you go into the Sysmon, the first thing that you should find is this export from August 31st. That's uh, the day of this recording. You download this file and you install it by going into the admin console extension management and select that file as I did in here and you get all those that you'll see 53 rules reference sets with uh, pre-populated with data uh, custom properties around 90 of them and several AQL custom functions it's a, it's a, it's a pretty big uh, package you should install this only on a test environment and never on a production one. You should wait for the production one until IBM releases the content pack for Sysmon. And this is the first version and they will keep updating this. Uh, and this is what you should only use in a production environment. Now, there are two AQL functions that this one in here, this white listed process has, and this actually, as the name implies, is checking uh, whether a particular uh, uh, process is uh, white listed. And this one, check with map of sets. So for these two custom functions, you need to actually edit them and put in here the IP address of your curator box and in here a security token. You get the security tokens by going here on authorized service. You should add a new authorized service and get the token from here, you know, copy paste from here, and that's the token that you need to put there. Once you have done this, you save the file and you actually zip it and then you add it, you go back here into the admin console, extension management, add that zip file, as I did in here, and that installed that AQL custom function. You need to do that for these uh, two custom functions. This component that will be a content pack also has a, a, a spreadsheet in here and as you can see in this spreadsheet here we put the SHA 256 as well as SHA-1, MD5 and the import hash for all the processes that that should run as system. So this is a way of checking well I have something running as a system process is this a valid one or not and as you see there are quite a few of them and if you ever want to see what this hash is referring to you can use this spreadsheet to look for that and we will talk some more in a few minutes but uh, this is an area that you will most likely need to add into that uh, reference set hashes of processes that you it is normally in your environment to run as system admin antivirus uh, EDR type of solution processes that normally run a system you need to add them, otherwise the rules will be triggering, giving you uh, some false positives. This package also contains some safe searches. That might be very useful. You may not want to implement the rules per se. You may want to start using the searches to see if there are incidents of that type that happen in your environment and maybe then enable the actual rules. So if we go into the log activity and go into new search and you look for a group of searches called Sysmon, these are added by this package. And here you see the type of search, a normal parent for a process, uh, remote launch executable. I mean, there are very interesting uh, rules that you may want to actually take, modify, copy and, and, and rename, whatever. But this is these are very good searches and notice that they are grouped on their Sysmon. In a similar way, if we go into the offenses tab and look into the rules that make up this 
package and this may keep on growing so this is the way that it is out of uh, August 31st and if we look again by the group Sismon you're going to find all these rules there are around 53 of those and notice that many of these rules are actually disabled this one for example detecting a known process started with unseen hash and the idea is not to give you again false positives uh, if you want to enable these uh, these particular rules you need to make sure that uh, you have you put the SHA-256 uh, hashes of the processes that you want to be uh, recognized again there are a couple of these rules that are very powerful but disabled in order to avoid giving false positive now speaking of filling up the data notice this particular rule in here that is also disabled this is process based baselining uh, and the idea of this rule is to let it run uh, probably you may want to actually uh, modify this rule and put it they see that you have some key machines that are clean and you want to make sure that all the processes that are in there are actually uh, added into the reference set so and this what these uh, baselining rules are all about and you may want to enable them take a look at that you know what they do enable them to make them automatically feed your reference set with the good processes that exist out there we hope to enjoy enjoyed uh, testing this package or actually getting the, the official one from the App Exchange when IBM releases that and, and we sincerely expect that with this you will either catch any bad guy that is trying to get into your, organi your organization or get the peace of mind of knowing that even with this type of sophisticated techniques that we have used in, we have shown in these use cases that you have the right protection when you have Sysmon events being processed by Curator.